as a leader, don't you find it difficult to get your followers to change? And what about yourself? Hello, this is Pierre Bienvenu from IMPI. We are here to help remove anxiety from leadership as they gain greater clarity and control. Within Walking Distance is a series giving tips, tools and reflections for leadership. If you are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the links relevant for this video that you will find in the description box below. MP. So, let's answer the question. Why do we resist change? Because we fear to lose control when our expectation about the future is disrupted or when we are unable to figure out what the new normal will be. So I'm going to give you a tool to understand how to overcome the resistance to change. It's an equation and it's simple. We call it the DVP. What we need is for our drive for change to be greater than our resistance to change. That makes sense, yes. Let's say the average person score is 700 for their resistance to change. Maybe less for some or more for the stubborn ones or the fearful ones. There are three ingredients to the DVP. D, your level of dissatisfaction. V, our vision of what the change looks like. And P, the plan to get there. In other words, the DVP describes where you are now, where you want to go, how to get there. So with the D, you rate your dissatisfaction on a scale of 1 to 10. You score is a one when you are totally satisfied. For example, you are a French national and the national soccer team just won the World Cup. Or you just landed in Mauritius with the love of your life for a two week vacation without the kids. On the other end of the, score, the scale, you score a 10 if you feel like jumping from a bridge or you're about to kill your boss. And that's either unhelpful or illegal. So, the higher your dissatisfaction, the more likely you are to do something about it. Next, V for your vision, that's simple. If you don't know what the outcome of change looks like, you're not going to get there. You don't have a clue of what your future could be. Score yourself a one. If you know precisely your short-term and long-term vision, score yourself a, a, a 10. Lastly, P for the plan. You have no idea what to do next to get to your short-term goal. That's a one. Conversely, you know the first few steps to get there. It's actionable and realistic. Score toward a, a 10. It doesn't have to be a full plan but at least sufficient to get moving and start altering your current reality. Okay, now that you've, got, you've scored your DVP, you multiply the three scores, compare the DVP score to your resistance for change. If it is less, now you understand why, even as you and your followers are dissatisfied, you are not doing anything about it, or are even actively resisting change. To start the journey of change, you need to be dissatisfied with your current circumstances. Understand where you want to go or be. And at the beginning of a plan, it is practical uh, to flesh out the vision of a desired future and the first steps to get there. As for your dissatisfaction, embrace it uh, as, as a force or change, or change your attitude. And this is the good quote for this video. Stephen Covey wrote, there are three constants in life, change, choice, and principles.
Isn't this beautiful? If you are one of the first three people able to identify the location of this view, can meet with me for a free hour of leadership coaching. Just write the location in the comment section and send me an email at wwd at imp.solutions. Here is a clue. I live in the Western Cape in South Africa. I'll be posting the next episode in two weeks. In the meantime, lead well.